with you, numb nuts. Why don't you just kill him now? Shut up, Scotch. By the time this is over, Austin Powers will wish I had killed him. I think we all will. Scotch, do re mi fa so la di shush. What's your evil plan this time, Dr. Evil? Poison the world's supply of drinking straws? No, but I'm making a mental note of that, Mr. Powers. My plan is much more needlessly elaborate than that. I've designed a little contest. You and I are going to determine the fate of the world by matching wits in a trivia game hosted by a robot of my own design. Welcome to the game I call Win, Lose, or Die! Live from the electric psychedelic pussycat swingers club, it's Win! I'm your host bot, unit number 2112. How many players we got? One or two? One is more fun anyway. Take the following quiz and see who you should team with. Dr. Evil or Austin Powers? Who would play you in a movie about your life? A, Sean Connery, because he's a shag machine, baby. B, frankly, I don't care, as long as it's not the same person who plays that insufferable Austin Powers. That's definitely a Dr. Evil response. You team up with him. Welcome. I hope you are utterly ruthless with a can-do attitude. All right, team, we'll buzz in with the letter P. As in penchant or puggery. Earlier, Austin played the same game with the help of a poll taker from Oil City, Pennsylvania. Poll taker, yes, please. If you can beat them, you win. You've got to get more than 102 million bucks to win. Buckle up. Here we go. question or Mr. Bigglesworth will get upset. And you know what happens next. This time it's personal. Jaws 4. This one is about the dangers of celebrity. It's called Choking in the Boys Room. Get it right and get yourself five million bucks. Go capitalism. It has to do with an alleged crime at a San Francisco airport. Fill in this headline from 1989. Morton Downey Jr. attacked. Blank painted on his face. Did those bad men paint a peace sign, a scarlet letter A, a swastika, or I'm with stupid? Dunk it, Team Evil. Got a yes. Mort told the police that skinheads attacked him and painted a swastika on his face. Oh, the humanity. Excellent. Authorities thought it was a self-inflicted publicity stunt and unoriginal. Charles Manson did it so much better back in 1970. Can you remind me what I pay you people for? Oh, I don't pay you. But do pick a question. Mr. Bigglesworth wants this one. <coughs> Yep, it's stop and go-go time. Here's the way to play. You're gonna see a question with seven possible answers. Four are right, three are decoys. Buzz in and pick one of the four correct answers. If you're right, you get the cash. Play it safe by hitting the S key to stop and take home your winnings. Or you can take a risk and try for more, doubling your score with every correct answer. But if you take a chance and guess wrong, you lose everything. This one's named Feet of Clay. Let's start the betting at five million dollars. This one's about Saturday Night Live's Mr. Bill Show. Oh no! Pick the four characters that appeared on the Mr. Bill Show and avoid the fakes! Which are real? Spot, Miss Sally, Gumby, Cassius Clay, Slug. Take it to the hoop, Team Evil! Yes! Here comes Mr. Bill's dog. Oh! Yeah, Miss Sally was Mr. Bill's main squeeze. Oh, no! 
You got two. Want to give it another shot, Team Evil? Yeah, Sluggo was Mr. Bill's playmate. No, he's always mean to me! That's 20 million big ones. Want to risk it, Team Evil, huh? Of course, Mr. Hands was always helping out Mr. Bill. Oh, no! Team Evil, you took that one and ran with it. Mr. Bill, this is your life! Your dog, Spot. Spot! No! Your girlfriend, Miss Sally. No! Your pal, Sluggo. No, he's always mean to me! And of course, Mr. Hands. No, no! <laughs> the sea bass are restless. Pick a question. The world is so not destroyed right now. This is a keep away question. Here's the scoop. I'll assign you a category. When you see something that fits, hit your keep key. If it doesn't belong to you, hit your away key. We call this one bottle capping hussies. Laverne and Shirley, small screen legends and best friends on TV. You love them, but can you tell them apart? Keep the things that remind you of your gal while keeping away the rest. Team Evil, your keep key is eight. And your away key is nine. Team Evil, I know you sit up at night wondering what became of Cindy Williams. Why don't you keep stuff about Shirley? Remember, hit nine to away stuff from the other category. Get one right and win one million bucks, but get one wrong and lose a million. Oh. Fingers ready. Carmine's best girl. Brunette. Milk and Pepsi. Boo Boo Kitty Doll. Blonde. Father owns Pizza Bowl. Monogram Sweaters. Dated Richie Cunningham. The Prissy One. The Hussy. Let's see how much of a schlemiel you are. That was really good, Team Evil. Really good! Pick a question and show me I'm not surrounded by freaking idiots. Put on your meat helmet. It's going to be a bumpy night. This one's called Grizzly Bar. And this one's gonna be worth 10 million bucks. Let's see if we can jog your memory. This question is about a product that's been off the shelf for a long, long time. And believe me, it's for the best. <laughs> Fill in this bizarre headline from 1966. New amazing soap. Blank grows fur and has toy inside. Was it Wooly Willy Soap, Hair Club for Men Soap, Fuzzy Wuzzy Soap, or Chia Soap? Go for it, Team Evil. You got it! As crazy as it sounds, Fuzzy Wuzzy Soap really grew fur and had a toy surprise inside! Excellent! Fuzzy Wuzzy Soap came in a variety of animal shapes and went from bald to her suit in a matter of days. Oh yeah, man. The 60s. Free love, flower power. Man, when kids did bathe, it was with Harry Soap! Oh! Let's do what we always do and pick a question. Make Daddy proud. I call this question, get on the stick. And the starting value is gonna be five million smackaroos. Can you pick the four classic 1980s video game characters and the decoys? Was it Mr. Do, Balky, Luigi, Snarf, Hubert, Frogger, or Chaka? Hit it, Team Evil! <laughs> yes, Mr. Do had a wizard's cap and threw apples. Cute! Smooth move, Team Evil, that's worth five mil. Do you wanna... <laughs> yes, Luigi's from Mario Brothers. Still game after 10 million, Team Evil? Wanna try for more? Yes, Qbert, of course. Wow, Team Evil, you got three right. Frogger, yes. 
Wow, Team Evil, you sure showed me something. The right answers are Luigi, Frogger, Mr. Do, and Qbert. I played video games despite warnings from experts that they make you a delusional psychopath. Those experts will change their tune. When my kingdom on earth begins, and you, Frogger, you shall rule beside me. Precious. <laughs> Pick a question so we can stop our nemesis, Austin Powers. What kind of a title is that? Let's check out this one called... Let's talk about the sexes, baby. Let's throw old school props to hip hop pioneers, the all male Run DMC, and the all female Salt and Pepper. Oh yeah! Now that the props have been thrown, can you tell the girls' songs apart from the boys' songs? Keep the songs that belong to your rap group and keep away the others. Team Evil, you keep songs by Salt and Pepper. Remember, hit nine to away stuff from the other category. For each right answer, I'll give you two million bucks. But I'll take away two million for each wrong answer. I'm sorry. It's the way it goes. Get your finger on the buzzer and let's go. Push it. Shoop. Shake your thang. Let's talk about sex. Tougher than leather. What a man. My Adidas. Christmas in Hollis. You be Illin. King of Rock. Yo, let's see how well you did. Oh yeah! You're perfect, Team Evil, but you already knew that. You haven't won yet, Team Evil. You've met my score, but there's still more to come. And remember, he who laughs best laughs best. <laughs> The last question. All right, people, I'll throw you a bone and let you pick the next question. Answer the question correctly. Don't make me downsize. Yup, it's crazy chain time, and it goes like this. You're gonna see nine questions in rapid fire order. Each question has three possible answers. Buzz in fast when you think you know the answer. Team Evil, your buzz in keys are 7, 8, and 9. This selection's called The Man with the Golden Tadger. Five million bucks for every right answer. Get your buzz in finger ready. What character did Danny DeVito play in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Billy Babbitt McMurphy Martini. Who prefers his martini shaken, not stirred? Arthur Bach, Remington Still, James Bond. Which James Bond heavy only spoke one line throughout two James Bond films? Odd job Ernst Blofeld Jaws. During the filming of Jaws, what nickname did Spielberg give the mechanical shark? Rusty Mike Bruce. What famous Bruce did Dustin Hoffman portray? Bruce Lee, Bruce Wayne, Lenny Bruce. Lenny Bruce was romantically involved with which Gilligan's Island cast member? Tina Louise, Don Wells, Jim Backus. Tina Louise plays a character replaced by a robot in which horror film? Rosemary's Baby, The Stepford Wives, Disturbing Behavior. The Stepford Wives featured which actress? Catherine Ross, Sarah Miles, Talia Shire. Catherine Ross was in which Man vs. Insects movie? Killer Bees, Arachnophobia, The Swarm. Holy free association, Batman! Danny DeVito played Martini, favorite cocktail of James Bond, who outsmarted Jaws, the villain, not the shark, whose nickname was Bruce, not Dustin Hoffman's Lenny Bruce, who dated Tina Louise, who was in The Stepford Wives with Catherine Ross, who was also in The Swarm. Those bees are coming right for Houston. Okay, time to check scores. Team Evil, as you may recollect, you weren't doing so hot going into the crazy chain. Let's see if you got any wiser. You passed the score to beat! You rock, Team Evil! Wait, there's one more thing. 
Dr. Evil, you're the winner. Before the show, the grand prize you selected was to destroy the world. Do you still want that, or do you prefer to trade it in for what's behind the curtain on the display floor? Years ago, I won a radio call-in contest by correctly identifying Volare as played on an ocarina. I know. I want a case of cat food that caused Mr. Bigglesworth severe intestinal problems. Can you give me a hint? Sorry, Dr. Evil, we can't tell you. Is it a car? I'd love one of those new Buick Skylarks. Elegant styling, well apportioned. Is it a Skylark? You'll just have to take your chances, Dr. Evil. Damn. I do so want to destroy the world, but I do so love the legroom of the new Buick. Oh, give me what's behind the curtain. Tough luck, Dr. Evil. Looks like you're going home with a billy goat. No, no, I changed my mind. Give me back my original prize. Can I still destroy the world? Oh, Dr. Evil, I'm afraid you made your choice. You can't destroy the world. You've got to take the goat. Hmm. Can I destroy the goat, then? Airfare for hostages of Dr. Evil is arranged by Air Evil. Air Evil, more direct flights to Evil Air than any other carrier. While being held prisoner by Dr. Evil, Austin Power stays at the Evil Palace Inn. Evil Palace Inn's comfort, convenience, wickedness. This has been an Evil production in association with Evil World. Thanks for playing Win, Lose, or Die. Big kiss. It, Dad, tell everyone your secret plan. God, I've also taken over the Electric Psychedelic Pussycat Swingers Club. Oh, it'll be so much harder to stop you if they know exactly where you are. Scott, try new and improved shush, okay? I've also kidnapped Austin Powers. He and I will vie for the fate of the world in an overly elaborate game show of my own design. You always do this, Dad. Kill him now, numbnuts. Scott, there's a package for you. Sign here, special delivery of shush. Yeah, well... Scott, sit right back and you'll hear a tale. A tale of shush. Now then, let's play my game. Win, lose, or die. Live from the Electric Psychedelic Pussycat Swingers Club, it's... Win, lose, or die. I'm your host bot, Unit C3PT2T2. Okay, how many players? Just one? Great. Take the following quiz and see who you should team with. Dr. Evil or Austin Powers? If you could be any kind of tree, what would you be? A, one with a lot of birds in it. B, one that would fall and crush Austin Powers. I'd characterize that answer as groovy. You team with Austin Powers. Great! The first thing I need to know is, do I make you horny, baby? Alright, my team's going to buzz in with the letter Q, as in quiz show. Just moments ago, Dr. Evil answered the same questions with the help of two fembots and a leader of Goldschlager. If you can score higher, you win. You've got to get more than 119 million bucks to win. All ready? Then let's play the game! 
Shut your cake hole and take a question. Oh, I'm gonna have a thrombo! This one's called Eat My Quiche. And the payoff for this question is five million smackers. Ladies, when I ask you a question, you will answer correctly. Is that clear? Fill in this headline from 1985. Blank commands, be a man and do it. Was it the Marines, the Navy, the Army, or the National Rifle Association? No, the Second Amendment does not protect your right to do it. At least you tried, Team Powers. Oh, that's right, you didn't. What is this? Here. I'm in a bit of a pickle and I need your help. Oh! Quiet, you! People of Earth! Well, whoever's listening. This is Dr. Evil. I've taken over your computer to launch my evil plot. You won't get away with this. Oh! Well, that's going to leave a lump. Honestly? Don't make me bonk you again. I've kidnapped Austin Powers, and am holding him captive here at the Electric Psychedelic Pussycat Swingers Club. Well, that's my scene, baby! And now it's your prison, Mr. Powers. I could easily kill you. Then no one could prevent me from world domination. But I thought it might be amusing to stake the fate of the world in a trivia match between you and I, Mr. Powers. Sounds groovy. Do you like to wash up a bit before? Personally, before I'm on the job, I'd like to give my undercoat a bit of a house of father. Oh, Mr. Powers, shush. I've designed an unnecessarily Byzantine game show called Win, Lose, or Die. Frau Farbissena, any suggestions for a host? Yes, Hell Doctor. Let me show you the latest in Android technology. Send in the hot butt! Live from the Electric Psychedelic Pussycat Swingers Club, it's Win, Lose, or Die! I'm your host, Bot Unit 8675309. Yeah. Table for one or two? Just one? Great. Take the following quiz and see who you should team with, Dr. Evil or Austin Powers. What's your favorite hard candy? A, an all-day sucker, baby. B, atomic fireballs, which you'll be seeing a lot of if the UN doesn't pay me one million dollars. Oh, that's an Austin Powers response if I ever heard one. You're on his team. Welcome to the team. Allow myself to introduce myself. All right, my team's going to buzz in with the letter Q, as in the letter Q. Previously, Dr. Evil answered the same questions with the aid of a soccer mom from El Segundo. Lovely woman. Too bad I had to liquidate her. If you can exceed their score, you win. You've got to get more than 102 million bucks to win. All ready? Then let's play the game! Answer your question. Pick one, baby. It's not luck. Oh, it's skill. Yeah, baby! <laughs> This one's about the third banana over at Apple Records. And it happened not long after Austin and Dr. Evil were frozen. And this one's gonna be worth five million greenbacks. Fill in this headline from 1969. George Harrison destroys blank. George Harrison destroys the Beatles? No, you're thinking of Yoko. because Austin Powers is my prisoner. Oh, yeah, that. Precisely, Mr. Powers. Here is my diabolical plot. 
I'm going to implicate the President of the United States' henchmen in a burglary of their opponent's headquarters. When the President tries to cover it up, I release secret tape recordings of their conversations. Bringing down the government. <laughs> <clears throat> Dr. Evil. What is it, number two? That actually occurred during the presidency of Richard Nixon. Nixon resigned, but the government functioned normally. I see. How about if we involve the president in an affair with a young intern, and then we publish all the sordid details of their sexual activities on the internet? <laughs> Dr. Evil, that also actually occurred. In fact, it happened after you were unfrozen. When do I have time to read the paper, really? Let's just do what we always do. Design an overly elaborate game show and challenge Austin Powers to match wits to determine the fate of the world. I'll call it win, lose, or die! Live from the Electric Psychedelic Pussycat Swingers Club, it's... I'm your host, Bot, unit number NC-17. One or two of you. Going it alone, I'll be with you. Take the following quiz and see who you should team with, Dr. Evil or Austin Powers. Would you sleep with someone on the first date? A, is a date really necessary? B, actually, I've never had a date. I wasn't popular in school. The other kids teased me, but they'll rue the day. Everyone's going to pay, do you hear me? You answered that like a minx. I'm putting you with Austin Powers. Good to have you on the team. I want you to know my middle name is Danger. Actually, it's my maiden name. All right, my team's going to buzz in with the letter Q. As in Queen Mum. Moments ago, Dr. Evil played this game with the help of an image consultant from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Apparently, I tested poorly in the team market. In order to win, you've got to do better than they did. You've got to get more than 102 million bucks to win. Ready? Let's take this baby out for a spin. Let's pick a question and win one for queen and country, baby. Grr, baby. Very good. This one's called Planet Parenthood. And the payoff for this question is five million smackers. Fill in this headline from 1981. Mork from Ork names his baby Blank. Did he name it Dork, Bjork, Mirth, or Alf? Go for it, Team Powers! Yes, in the 1981 season, Mork had a son, Mirth. Yeah, baby! Ork and babies are born full-grown, so Mirth was played by 200-pound Jonathan Winters. The show never said who had to change his diapers. Oh, shall we pick a question now or pick later? Pick now! Kinky, baby. Very kinky. Yep, it's stop and go-go time. Here's the way to play. You're gonna see a question with seven possible answers. Four are right, three are decoys. Buzz in and pick one of the four correct answers. If you're right, you get the cash. Play it safe by hitting the S key to stop and take home your winnings. Or you can take a risk and try for more, doubling your score with every correct answer. But if you take a chance and guess wrong, you lose everything. Here's a little question I call Organ Grinder. Let's start the betting at five million dollars. Pick the four kinds of kids that eat armor hot dogs and avoid the three kinds that don't. How about fat kids, slow kids, sissy kids, kids that climb on rocks, small kids, hyperactive kids, or kids with chicken pox? Do it to it, Team Powers! Yes, kids with chicken pox just gobble down dogs. Oh, there's more where that five million came from, Team Powers. Yes, fat kids do indeed like armor hot dogs. Oh, those kids aren't fat. They're just incorrect height for their weight. That's good for $10 million. Stop or go, go, go. Yes, rock climbers apparently love hot dogs. You're killing now, Team Powers. Keep go-going or stop. Yes, sissy kids do like hot dogs. Interesting. That was perfect, Team Powers. You struck a blow for truth, justice, and free love. 
1996, Armour shipped over 37,000 hot dogs to American troops in Bosnia. The effort was called Operation Wiener Lift. Wiener Lift? Oh, where do I sign up, baby? Agent Austin Powers reporting for duty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Show me love, baby! Pick a question! Oh, well, you're a bit of all right. This is a keepaway question. Here's the scoop. I'll assign you a category. When you see something that fits, hit your keep key. If it doesn't belong to you, hit your away key. Okay, this question is called Born to None. Can you tell the boss from a flying nun? I sure hope so. Some of these are Bruce Springsteen songs. Others are Sally Field movies. Keep the ones that belong to you and keep away the others. Team Powers, your keep key is one. And your away key is two. Team Powers, you look so good in tight jeans. Mm, you keep Bruce Springsteen songs. Remember, hit two to away stuff from the other category. Get one right and win one million bucks, but get one wrong and lose a million. Oh. Get ready to buzz in. No surrender. Places in the heart. Stay hungry. Glory days. Hungry heart. Norma Ray. Thunder. Heroes. Independence Day. Kiss me goodbye. I love Springsteen, but I hated him in Punchline. Let's check your scores. Jolly good show, Team Powers. Better than cats. Hello, hello. Pick a question. Show me love. This one's called Ride Me Cowboy. And this one's gonna be worth 10 million bucks. Complete this headline from 1964. Slim Pickens rides blank in Dr. Strangelove. Did he ride Peter Sellers, a nuclear bomb, a mechanical bull, or the perfect wave? Team powers make my day. Hey, is that a warhead or are you happy to see me? Actor Slim Pickens does indeed straddle a nuclear bomb as it plummets to earth in Dr. Strangelove. Yeah, baby. No movie showed a bigger weapon between a man's legs until Deep Throat. I saw that movie, baby. I guess those Swedish enlargers work for some people. Ouch, baby. Very ouch. Let's pick a question and win one for England. Oh, cheeky, baby. Question's called Oral Fixation. And it starts out at five million dollars. You know, Miss Pac-Man has an oral fixation that was unmatched by anyone until a certain Monica came along. But there are some things even Miss Pac-Man won't eat. Keep the four foods that Miss Pac-Man eats in the arcade version and avoid the three decoys. Orange, guava, pretzel, apple, pineapple, kiwi, or banana. Yes, she eats an orange. Five million dollars. That's right, a pretzel. You've won ten million dollars. Yes, Miss Pac-Man believes in an apple a game. Team Powers, you've got twenty million dollars. That's right, a banana. You had your mojo working overtime, Team Powers. Miss Pac-Man gobbled up an orange, a pretzel, an apple, and a banana. And your allowance, twenty-five cents at a time. <laughs> Quite impressive, Team Powers. But the game's not over yet. You could lose everything. <laughs> Pick a question. Make it a cheeky one. Very shagadelic. This selection's called Jukebox Jury. Would you rather be hauled into court or go to Cincinnati? Think it over. 
Meanwhile, this question is about the 80s sitcoms WKRP in Cincinnati and Night Court. Keep the characters from your 80s sitcom and keep away the rest. Team Powers, you like Burt Bacharach, I bet you'd love Mel Torme. You keep characters from Night Court. Remember, hit two to away stuff from the other category. There's two million bucks in it for each one you get correct. But guess what? Each one you get wrong means you lose two million. Shall we play a game? Bailey Quarters. Arthur Carlson. Christine Sullivan. Roz Roswell. Dan Fielding. Herb Tarlek. Harry Stone. Les Nestman. Bailiff Shannon. Jennifer Marlowe. Defendant, I'm letting you off with a probation and a fine. But only if you're the 10th caller. Hurry, the phone lines are lighting up. Let's see. High five, Team Powers. Slap. That sound means last question. All right, baby, stay very cool and pick a question. Work that mojo. Time for a crazy chain. Here's how you play. You're going to see nine questions in rapid fire order. Each question has three possible answers. Buzz in fast when you think you know the answer. Key powers, your buzz and keys are one, two, and three. I call this question, Attack of the Fembots. Guess correctly and get five million dollars per question. Get your fingers ready. What U.S. president was played by Anthony Hopkins? Harry S. Truman, Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan. Nixon was directed by whom? Penny Marshall, Francis Ford Coppola, Oliver Stone cast Val Kilmer as a singer in what movie? The Doors, Great Balls of Fire, La Bamba. The Doors, Ray Manzarek produced what LA-based punk band? Sex Pistols, X, Oak Ridge, Dead Boys. X's John Doe appeared in what movie about 70s porn? Boogie Nights, The Natural American Gigolo. Boogie Nights featured what former Cannonball Run star? Dom DeLuise, Burt Reynolds, Terry Bradshaw. Who is Burt Reynolds' ex-wife? Lonnie Anderson, Sybil Shepherd. What 1978 sitcom starred Lonnie Anderson? Laverne and Shirley bust and loose WKRP in Cincinnati. WKRP's Gordon Jump became the loneliest repairman in TV ads for Timex Maytag Tux medicated pads. Crazy Che Che Chain. Anthony Hopkins was Nixon, directed by Oliver Stone, who also did The Doors, whose keyboard is produced X, whose John Doe appeared in Boogie Nights, starring Burt Reynolds, the ex of Lonnie Anderson, who was in WKRP with Gordon Jump, the Maytag repairman. He's so lonely. Okay, time to check scores. Team Powers, you are ahead before the crazy chain. Let's check the post-chain score. You passed the score to beat! Way to go, Team Powers! Mr. Powers, I'm Emily Haxton, British Radio. How does it feel to defeat Dr. Evil? Feels a bit of an all right, yeah! I see. Mr. Powers, another question, if I may. When Dr. Evil was defeated, what were your feelings? Um, all right. I have one more question. Describe the feelings Nigel felt. Horn, British Press, British Daily Press. If you could, tell us about your affair with Uma Thurman. An affair with Uma Thurman? That's not true. I don't even know who he is. Priscilla Fluffbees, Glossy British Celebrity Weekly. Uh, Austin, is it true you abandoned your wife and kids? I don't have any wife or kids. So, it's true then. Does this have to do with your secret love tryst with four willing fembots? Love tryst? Oh no, you don't understand. I shook my hiney until their heads exploded. Yes, am I to understand then that this is your way of denying the affair? I didn't have an affair with fembots. I did it for queen and country. What are you saying then, that you had an affair with the queen mum? No, baby! Austin, I'm Ernest Jugular from the Ripping Times. Do you think the British press is too rude and aggressive? No, baby, I tried to get along well, with... Well, what do you think now, you poof? 
Oh, that really hurt. Who throws a shoe? Honestly. Next question. You've been playing Win, Lose, or Die, and I thank you. It's not luck. Oh, it's skill.